What's going on Aurora Alliance and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2 update video. So today we received patch 1.2 for Battlefront which brought a load of new changes to the game including changes to the classes, the heroes, game modes and things like that. And we also got our brand new game mode Jetpack Cargo as well as three brand new hero skins to the game. But before we get fully into this video make sure to let me know down in the comments section below if you are excited to play Jetpack Cargo, and if you have already played it, what do you think of it? And also let me know what you think of the new hero skins and how they actually work. I'm going to go over that later in the video, just in case you didn't already know. Also, make sure if you are new to the channel to subscribe to be kept up to date with Battlefront 2 content and see exclusive gameplay videos in the future. But now let's get on to patch 1.2 and talking about the new hero skins and the new game mode. So in this update, they have added a mix of requested features and fixes, as well as some brand new items. They have added additional locations to Custom Arcade, Kashyyyk, Hoth, Endo, Crate, Jakku, and Death Star 2. They've also launched the new game mode, the limited time game mode, Jetpack Cargo. This fast-paced mode sees players jumping around in jetpacks, wielding rocket launchers for the entire round, and these abilities refresh really quickly, so you never actually really run out of them for very long. The mode will only be available for a limited time, so check for availability and make sure to jump in and give it a try while it is live. I've played it, it's really, really exciting and really fast-paced and really competitive, and it's quite a unique cool mode to the game, I'm not going to lie about it, I just wish they would add it to the game for good. Also, as well as the new custom arcade locations and the brand new limited time game mode, for a limited time, EA and DICE have added three new hero appearances or skins to the game, specifically the Hoth appearances for Luke Skywalker, Leia Organa and Han Solo. You can preview them in their respective character customization screens under appearances. They will be unlockable through a series of in-game challenges that will be available over time. We have to stay tuned to their official channels for more details on this. You can see them in the game now, however you can't actually access them yet. They do say they are accessible via the limited time challenges. So I went ahead and completed the limited time challenge for today and it didn't unlock any of the skins so I don't know how this is going to work. However, I'm just going to clarify this because a lot of people have been questioning it. The skins are for a limited time but if you actually unlock the skins when the challenges are available to unlock the skins with then you will keep the skins forever. The only reason they have said they are in the game for a limited time is because these challenges to unlock the skins are going to only be there for a limited time period. So once those challenges are gone, if you haven't completed them, I don't think you will be able to unlock the Hoth skins for Luke, Leia and Han Solo. But we'll have to wait and see for more details on that because it's a little bit confusing how they've worded it. They've said for a limited time these skins are in the game, but then you can't unlock them yet. You have to unlock them by completing the timed challenges. But the time challenges aren't active yet, so it's it's very confusing. However, it's cool to see that some customization has come to the game, as well as a brand new game mode. I'm not going to go over all of the small details in this patch because there is an absolute list of them. I've never seen anything like it. There's just so many for every single part of the game. And I know a lot of people have had some issues with some of the things that they have put into the game with this patch. So if you have noticed any bugs, make sure to let EA and Dice know about them. But also, like I said at the start of this video, because we're not going to cover anything else, make sure to let me know down in the comments section below what you think of Jetpack Cargo, and also let me know what you think about these customization skins being added into the game for a limited time. And by that, they mean that if you don't complete the challenges, the timed challenges when they are active in the game, you won't be able to unlock the skins. You have to actually complete the timed challenges when they go live to unlock the skins. Make sure to smash a like on this quick update video if you have enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance. Be kept up to date with Battlefront 2 content and see exclusive gameplay videos in the future. But other than that, may the force be with you.